This is a programming video for the PowerLogic PM5000 series meters. At the front of the meter, you have four navigation buttons. And on the back, you have the power connection, connection of the voltage inputs, connection for the digital outputs, current inputs, and then the Modbus connection. If you have a meter that's Modbus TCP IP, you have the Ethernet communication port at the bottom. To identify whether the meter you have is a mid-meter, if you turn it over to the back, there will be a box that says M, which stands for mid, and then two digits, which represent the year it was manufactured. In this case, 14. For 2014, if the meter is not mid-certified, it will not have this box. Once the meter is powered up, you'll see a summary page with all the values on. There is also a menu at the bottom with all of the values. For the basic setup of the meter, if you scroll across to the menu by pressing the button on the right until you come to the MAINT option, this stands for maintenance. In the maintenance value, you will come across the following menu at the bottom. Reset, Setup and Diagnostic. Press into Setup and then enter the default password, which is 0000, and press OK. Once the password has been entered, you will then be able to access the full menu at the bottom. You will come across Meter, Communications, Alarms, I.O., HMI, and Clock. Then you come back to the Start page again. Firstly, we will set the wiring system. In the menu at the bottom, if you press on the Meter, then Basic, there's a menu below. You can change the wiring system by pressing Edit, and you can see the different wiring options on screen. To navigate through the systems, press the plus or minus button. You can see the different options you have. In this instance, we will select the one-phase two-wire systems. Once you choose the correct one, press OK to save changes. To change the CT ratio, scroll down to CT Primary, press on Edit and change the CT ratio to your requirements. By pressing the plus button, you can change the value. In this case, we will change it to 125. Once you have set the CT ratio to the value you want, press OK to save the changes made. To set the system frequency, scroll down and press on System Frequency. Like previously, press the Edit button to change the system frequency. This can be adjusted by pressing on the plus and minus. You can adjust the system frequency to 50 or 60. In this case, we will leave it to 50. Press OK to save changes made. You also have the option to edit the phase rotation. Again, press Edit and change the option to CBA or ABC by pressing on the plus button. In this case, we will leave it to ABC. Once your requirement is selected, press OK to save changes. Once the general setup is complete, press the button on the left-hand side of the meter. The device will confirm if you want the changes made to be saved. Press Yes. This will take you back to the meter menu. To set the Modbus address, Go back to the Summary menu by pressing the left arrow on the Meter menu. Press on Maint. Enter your password again, 0000. Then press Communications. Here you will see the following Protocol Modbus, Modbus Address, Board Rate and Parity. Press on the Modbus Address, press Edit and select the appropriate address by pressing on the Plus button. In this case, we will select 1. Same as before, press OK to save changes. Again, 
press the board rate, press edit and then press the plus button to change the board rate. Once selected, press OK to save changes. Once again, press the parity, press edit and press the appropriate parity. In this case, we will select even. Once selected, press OK to save changes. That's how you change the Modbus address. Press the button on the left-hand side of the meter. The device will confirm if you want the changes made to be saved. Press Yes. This will take you back to the meter menu. To set the Modbus address for a Modbus TCP meter, press Maint, Setup, enter the password, Communication. Then you are presented with a menu for the different settings for the IP address, subnet mask, gateway and the device name. To change the IP address if required, press Edit. Then use the plus and left button to set the new address. Then once updated, press OK to save changes. And then you can change the other values for the IP address. To set the time and date, press on Maint, then Setup, enter your password, scroll across until HMI. Press on Region. Here you can change the language and the date and time format. As default, the PM5000 range is formatted as months, date and year. To change, press Edit and then the plus or minus button. The time can also be changed here. Then, once all the changes have been done, press OK to save changes made. To set the password for the meter, press on Maint, Setup, input the password. Scroll across until you get to HMI, then Passwords. Here, you are presented with a list for different parameters within the system. To change your password, press on Edit. And then to change the value, press the plus button. Press OK to save changes made. Within the PM5000 range, we now have a QR code function. On the menu below, scroll across to the QR option. You will then be presented with various QR code options based on what you want to see. These are Info, Energy, Demand, Basic, Power Quality and Alarm. If you have PM5300 or PM5500 meter, you will also see several options for your data logs. You can download a QR scan app which is free on iTunes or Google Play. If we can scan the Info QR code, you will see a summary of the values and configuration that we previously put in has been saved. You can check that the device has been programmed to the corrected values on this summary page without the need of scrolling through each menu again. You will also have the option to register, so whenever you scan the QR code, the meter history will be saved for future reference. With all this setup, the meter is now ready to be used.